Today on the parenting series, Sarah Bukola Adioye, your friend, is here again in the house. And I want us to talk about the three letter word. Yes, you guessed right. When I was growing up, when I began to menstruate, I couldn't tell my mother because, you know, we didn't have that kind of relationship. But she found out soon enough. And she said something. She gave me the first sex education I ever had. And you know what she said? Now you are grown. You are a woman. If a man touches you now, you'll be pregnant. That was how I learned about sex. How did you learn about sex? I was at a women conference some weeks back and I threw this question to the women. I asked how many of them were taught sex education from home. Negligible feel. You listening to me, as a parent, you are the first information officer that your child has. So, brace up yourself to give them the lecture that they, that they, they require. You must be able to open up to them. And you know, some people tell you, how old, some people want to ask me, how old would my child be before I can begin to teach him or her sex education? I tell you, as soon as they are able to communicate, you begin to teach them about sex. How? Very simply, begin to tell them the parts of the body. This is your head. This is your eyes. Don't skip some of them. Don't skip. Don't call it pee pee, tee tee. What is pee pee? <laughs> call it what it is. Oh, this is your penis. Oh, this is your vagina. Oh, this is your breast. Oh, this is your buttock. And let them also know that we have the public parts we have the private parts. The public parts are the parts that you don't mind anybody seeing. My hand, your hands, your head, you can, you know, let people see it. But you have the private parts that are private. They are for you only, for your eyes only, for you only to, you know, touch or something if, there, if the need arises. These are very simple ways to begin to introduce sex education to our children. We must protect them from sexual abuse. Somebody said, what you do not know will not hurt you. But I say to you, what you don't know can kill. What you don't know can mirror your destiny. We don't want our children suffering because of our negligence. So we are going to be bold. We are going to be smart. We are going to be wise. And we are going to begin to teach them about sex at a tender age. Let me leave you with these three Ds. That you can teach any child from any age once he or she can communicate one don't talk to strangers about your private parts if you have any question ask daddy or ask mommy do not let anyone look at your private parts some will say let me look at your titty how does it look you know all those things we have we have seen of that so many perpetrators they come in diverse ways to try and you know penetrate the children so you tell them don't talk about it don't look at it and definitely don't touch it. That is why it's called private part. So we need as parents to brazen up ourselves and be ready to teach our children by ourselves. Teach your son about sex. Teach your daughter about sex. Teach them the age appropriate thing to know as they proceed, as they progress in life, they are age appropriate information that they will require about sex. And when they ask questions, answer them. If you don't know how to, immediately just tell them, I'll get back to you. Let me let me find out one or two things on how to best explain it to you. Period. But children, naturally, they are inquisitive and you are to satisfy their curiosity. Shield them from being sexually abused. I hope I've been able to communicate something to you today. And I hope you are not going to shy away as somebody shied away when you are growing up. Save a child today. Talk about sex. Teach them about sex. Till I come your way again on another interesting episode on Living Real with Sarah, I'm saying to you, keep living real.